The world is witnessing a new kind of conflict, one fought not with soldiers on battlefields or tanks rolling across borders, but with silicon and software, where the weapons are measured in nanometers and the battlegrounds are clean rooms and boardrooms. At the center of this struggle is the semiconductor, the tiny yet mighty chip that powers everything from smartphones and laptops to cars, medical devices, and even the world's most advanced weapon systems. The United States has launched sweeping sanctions against China's tech sector, aiming to slow Beijing's rapid technological ascent and maintain its own edge in the global tech race. By cutting off access to advanced chips and the sophisticated manufacturing tools needed to produce them, Washington hoped to preserve its technological leadership, protect national security, and keep critical know-how out of the hands of its biggest rival. But this strategy has triggered global consequences, upending decades of technological interdependence. American companies design the world's most advanced chips, Asian firms, especially in Taiwan and South Korea, manufacture them with unmatched precision, and Chinese factories assemble the devices that end up in the hands of billions of people around the globe, forming a tightly woven supply chain that has defined the modern era. The sanctions disrupted this delicate order, forcing nations and corporations to pick sides in a growing tech rivalry that is reshaping alliances and business strategies worldwide. Instead of crippling China's tech industry, the sanctions ignited a massive state-led push for self-sufficiency. The Chinese government poured billions into research, infrastructure, and talent, determined to close the gap and secure its own future. China is now racing to build its own chip ecosystem from the ground up, investing in everything from raw materials to advanced design, determined to never be so vulnerable again to foreign pressure or supply chain shocks. This story is about more than just two countries. It's about the future of globalization, the shifting balance of power in the 21st century, and the fate of an industry that underpins nearly every aspect of our daily lives. Did the US strategy work as intended, or did it backfire, accelerating the very competition it sought to contain and sending shockwaves through the global economy? Let's explore the complex, often unintended outcomes of America's chip war with China, and what it means for the future of technology, security, and the world order. To understand the US sanctions, we must grasp the fears driving them. For American policymakers, this was about national security, not just economics. Advanced semiconductors power both consumer gadgets and military systems. The US worried that China's military civil fusion strategy would turn commercial tech into military might. Rapid Chinese advances in AI, 5G, and quantum computing alarmed Washington. The rise of Chinese tech giants threatened America's innovation dominance. The US used its control over key chip technologies as a choke point, aiming to slow China's progress. Sanctions became a strategic weapon, not just a trade tool. The goal, secure the technological high ground of the 21st century. China's response to US sanctions was swift and strategic. The government wasted no time in rallying its top officials and industry leaders, holding emergency meetings to chart a new course for the nation's technological future. Rather than despair, Beijing launched a massive campaign for technological sovereignty. The message was clear, China would not be held back by external pressures, but would instead double down on innovation and self-reliance. Billions in state investment flooded the semiconductor sector, from chip design to manufacturing. New factories broke ground almost overnight and existing plants ramped up production determined to close the technology gap. Policies like tax breaks and research grants encouraged a surge of new companies and startups. Entrepreneurs and engineers were inspired to take risks, knowing the government stood firmly behind them. The urgency of self-reliance became a national mission, supercharging existing plans like Made in China 2025. Universities trained more engineers, expanding programs in microelectronics and computer science to meet the growing demand for talent. Research institutes set ambitious targets, pushing the boundaries of what Chinese technology could achieve. Teams worked around the clock, driven by a sense of purpose and national pride. A patriotic narrative took hold, supporting domestic tech was a duty. Media campaigns and public events celebrated homegrown innovation, turning technological advancement into a source of collective pride. The US tried to build a wall, China began constructing its own Great Wall of Silicon. Massive infrastructure projects and new supply chains took shape, all focused on reducing reliance on foreign technology. The goal, ensure China would never again be so exposed to foreign pressure. 
every sector, from logistics to manufacturing, was mobilized to support this vision of independence. The result, a whole-of-society mobilization to secure its technological future. Across the nation a new era of innovation and determination had begun, with every citizen playing a part in China's technological rise. Nothing symbolized China's resilience like Huawei's Mate 60 Pro launch in 2023. Despite sanctions, the phone featured a domestically made 7 nanometer chip, an achievement many thought impossible. The Mate 60 Pro became a national icon, proof that China could innovate under pressure. Beyond Huawei, a wave of new chip factories and companies emerged, fueled by government support and a protected market. China focused on both advanced and mature chips, aiming for dominance in essential tech. Domestic champions like SMIC and Nora Technology grew rapidly, investing in R&D. The sanctions meant to hobble China, instead sparked a thriving new tech ecosystem. China's tech industry was transforming, fast. The US strategy came with a price often paid by American companies. China was the largest market for US chipmakers like Qualcomm, Intel, and NVIDIA. Sanctions abruptly cut off this revenue, slashing profits and R&D budgets. The semiconductor industry relies on massive R&D investment to stay ahead. Losing the Chinese market risked undermining America's own innovation engine. Global supply chains grew tangled as companies scrambled to comply with new rules. Many international firms began de-Americanizing their products to avoid sanctions. This shift could erode U.S. influence and market share in the long run. By forcing the world to find alternatives, the U.S. may have weakened its own tech leadership. The quest to slow China could end up hurting America's own industry. U.S. sanctions turned China's goal of tech self-reliance into a national imperative. Once the world's biggest chip importer, China saw its dependence as a strategic weakness. The new mission, build a parallel tech ecosystem immune to foreign pressure. Domestic competition and innovation surged as Chinese firms filled the gap left by foreign suppliers. Local companies gained guaranteed demand, fueling rapid improvement. China invested in every layer of the tech stack, from chip design software to manufacturing equipment. Progress is slow in some areas, but Chinese firms are gaining ground, especially in mature chips and assembly. The ultimate aim, a complete end-to-end -end domestic supply chain. The result is a more resilient, competitive tech industry. China is moving from dependence to growing strength. The US-China tech rivalry is splitting the world into competing spheres. The era of a single, global tech ecosystem is ending. Technology standards, supply chains and platforms are diverging along geopolitical lines. Countries and companies must now choose sides, risking market access or security concerns. China's push for self-sufficiency is fueling its rise in AI, 5G and quantum computing. The US sanctions may have equipped China to compete more effectively in these fields. A bipolar tech order is emerging with separate standards and platforms. This split could stifle innovation, fragment the internet, and raise the risk of conflict. The rivalry that began with chips now shapes the rules of our digital future. The world is becoming more fragmented and more contentious. As of mid-2025, the verdict on America's chip war remains fiercely debated, with experts and policymakers divided over whether the strategy has achieved its intended goals or set off a chain reaction of unintended consequences. The sanctions initially disrupted China's tech giants, halting key projects and slowing progress at the very frontier of semiconductor innovation. Factories sat idle, and some companies faced existential threats as access to advanced chips was suddenly cut off. Yet rather than stalling out, these challenges sparked a determined state-led push for technological self-sufficiency in China. Massive investments poured into research, talent development and domestic supply chains with the government rallying industry leaders to close the gap. As a result, instead of a dependent rival, the U.S. now faces a more resilient, innovative and focused competitor, one that is rapidly catching up and even setting its own standards. Meanwhile, American chipmakers lost access to a crucial and lucrative market, threatening their own R&D budgets and slowing the pace of innovation at home. Some companies have been forced to lay off workers or scale back ambitious projects. The global supply chain, once tightly integrated, is now fragmented. U.S. tech leadership is under increasing pressure as companies and countries scramble to adapt to the new reality. Around the world, nations and corporations are incentivized to reduce their reliance on American technology, seeking alternative suppliers, and investing in homegrown solutions to avoid future disruptions. Ironically, in trying to trip up its opponent, the U.S. may have taught China to run faster, 
accelerating its technological ambitions and capabilities at an unprecedented pace. The tech rivalry has fundamentally altered the global balance of power, with new alliances forming and old certainties fading. We are witnessing a shift from American tech dominance to a bipolar or even multipolar world, where influence is shared and competition is fierce. The full consequences of this high-stakes gamble are still unfolding but one thing is clear, the decisions made today will shape the technological and geopolitical landscape for decades to come.